memorandum revaluation account. Suppose we did the same problem preparing a memorandum revaluation account. Memorandum is it's only a memorandum to remember to take take some effect to make a note etc. Not really a main part of the account because through the memorandum revaluation account we will we will we will account for the changes in the value of the assets and the liabilities but the same will not be reflected in the balance sheet the balance sheet will continue to be shown at the old values so what shall we do here the memorandum i will prepare a memorandum revaluation account How would this be prepared? Say for example, 6000 included in creditors is no longer a liability. So under a memorandum revaluation account, we said there would be two sections. The first section, the first half would be exactly like the revaluation account. So creditors, inclu 6000 included, no longer a liability is creditors account debit to memorandum revaluation by creditors amount is 6000. 4000 due to creditors, therefore two creditors, just like we did before. A contingent liability of 1000 had to be paid we will include this as liability as in let's say the entry becomes increase in creditors that is a liability we make it a liability so it becomes revaluation account debit to liability and then it is paid off <clears throat> so i am recording not the payment but only the increase in the liability what is the entry for the increase in liability revaluation account debit to liability account so to liability amount of 1000 assets were revalued building increased by 20000 so by building 20000 stock decreased so stock 10000 debtors to provision for doubtful debts memorandum revaluation to provision 4000 did the same thing as we did before. Therefore, we will get the same balance of 7000 and we will say to old partners. So, to A and to B, 3500, 3500, total of 7000. This is one part of the memorandum revaluation account. Next comes the second section. Here we repeat the same entries but reverse it. We reverse whatever we had done on top. So here it becomes by creditors 4000, by liabilities 1000, stock 10,000, provision for doubtful debts. 4,000, 2, creditors, 6,000, 2, building, 20,000. Therefore, you would get a loss now on revaluation. This would, however, go to A, B, and C's account in their new ratio. What is the new ratio? <coughs> A, B and C, since nothing is mentioned, it's assumed to be equal. So what would be the ratio? One third, one third, one third. You've got 7,000 into 1 by 3. So let us say 2, 3, 3, 4, 2, 3, 3, 3 and 2, 3, 3, 3. 7,000. As a result of this entry, building, furniture, stock, debtors all continue to be shown at their old values. However, there has been a change in the capital accounts. A's capital account was credited by 3500 
and then and then debited by 2334 giving us a net credit of One one six six. <clears throat> Net effect of this is that A's capital account has been credited by one one six six. B's capital account also credited by one one six six or six seven, and C's capital account was debited by. 2,333. This is how a memorandum revaluation account is created where we pass the same entries as we did for revaluation in the first section, arrive at the profit or loss on revaluation and transfer the same to the old partner's capital accounts in the old ratio. Next in the second section, second half of the memorandum revaluation account, we reverse all the entries that we did before. In this case, we got a profit of 7,000 in the first half. Therefore, in the next section, we got a loss of the same 7,000. This is, however, given to all the new partners in the new ratio. It is given to all the partners in the new profit sharing ratio. So, the net effect is that the assets and liabilities continue to be valued at their old values but capital accounts get adjusted. What is the adjustment? The adjustment is exactly equal to new partner C's share in the revaluation profit being debited to C's account and the credit being given to A and B in their sacrificing ratio. Net effect in the balance sheet, building would be same because we debited 20,000, credited 20,000. Furniture was always the same. Stock, we did the same thing. We first credited stock, then we debited stock. Debtors would continue at the same. Bank, C has brought in 60,000, so it will be plus 60,000 here. As far as capital accounts are concerned, Creditors will remain the same. A, B and C's capital account has changed. A's capital account would have increased by plus 1166 and plus 1167. And C's capital account would have 60,000 which he brought in minus 2,334 or 30. C's capital account would be 60,000 less 2,333. This is how the balance sheet would look. The assets and the liabilities continue to be shown at their old values. <clears throat> the same thing is done in a shorter value. Net effect may be given to the partner's capital accounts and that is no revaluation account. 